Hey everybody! I'm not sure on what the connection will be out here. I hope um, you can kind of at least see what I'm doing. I'm out here in the building where I've started cutting at and I'm kind of far from the house and I don't get a lot of connection out here at all. Hey Gina! So it may be coming in and out, maybe blurry. I don't know, but I wanted to hop on here and share with y'all how you could, or just kind of show y'all that y'all can actually cut out those initial door hangers without having to have a CNC or an expensive laser cutter. Um, all you really need is a jigsaw and a little bit of practice, or practice time, I'm not gonna say a little bit of practice time, but practice time, and um, you can actually cut those with a jigsaw yourself. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Miss Betty. So can y'all see pretty good or is it blurry? I know I talk with my hands, so that probably don't help with the refocusing. But um, I will show y'all. This was my pattern, and I shared a picture earlier. But we're I'm going to cut out this initial pumpkin. I'm going to do a C in the middle of mine. Hey, are you away from Hurricane? Rita right now is showing that it's. I'm in South Carolina, so it's not showing that it's going to make any kind of landfall in South Carolina. But we're still watching it just to, to see if it doesn't head this way. So we're hoping it's going to stay on the same track that it's going. And we're just going to maybe get a little bit of wind and some rain. But I don't think it's going to be much. I don't even think it's really going to be tropical storm where we're at in South Carolina. But you never know. It just depends on what I think like that cold front's going to do. Whether or not it hits, it makes a turn or not. I, so, so far as of right now, we're looking... Out of the zone of it so looks good oh yay hey Sharon hey Miss Sandra 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 uh it's all good I need pattern in the templates <laughs> yeah how about y'all Rita are y'all out of the out of the way of the hurricane I feel so sorry for the people in Bahamas they have been taking a hit for a few hours now and it is just the different videos I'm seeing on Facebook, it is like, it's a mess up there. Those, you know, just anybody who believe, all the prayer warriors out there, y'all be sure to be keeping those in your prayers because they have a mess. Hey, Miss Francine. So today, and I'm not going to sit here and really talk too much. Hey, Jordan, I'm just going to, um, once I start cutting, I'm just going to cut it and, you know, it's kind of just a watch and, and, kind of see kind of video so but I also want to remind everybody that today is the last day to sign up for my inside scoop so if you haven't done that yet and you've been on the fence um today's the last day so do not miss out because this is one of the things that you will be able to learn how to cut by joining because I do a cutting tutorial with my group with each of our designs so yes just wins I'm in the middle of Georgia I'm in middle, in middle Georgia. My son and his wife are supposed to be on a cruise to Bahamas on the 14th. Ugh, they may want to try to, may want to check on getting a refund for that cruise because from the looks of it, the Bahamas will not <laughs> be a good place to go on the 14th. Miss Kathy, how do you sign up? You can go to my website at trinaculitdesigns.com. I keep on swooshing flies and gnats, y'all. And, um... You can join there. There's a little tab that has Trina's or the Inside Scoop group. Click on that and you can subscribe. I have two different um, options for the Inside Scoop. I have the regular membership, which is $37 a month, and that's where you cut out your own templates. And then I have my bundle membership, which is $67 a month, and that's where I will actually cut the door hangers out for you and ship you the wooden blanks. So all you have to do is watch the tutorials and paint along with us. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. So the first thing I like to do is when I'm cutting out anything that has inside cuts, is I use my Dremel to get me some holes on the inside of my design that I can actually get my blade to get into to get those inside cuts. So hey, Lindsay and Kathy, if you have any more questions, just don't hesitate to call me or call me, message me, and I'll get back with you. I will. I could. I will share a link to as soon as I get off of here. All right, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to kind of scoot y'all down a little bit. I will check comments and stuff as I go, but probably mainly 
when I get done. I don't want to mess with this too much because since y'all said it's picking up pretty good. But see, I've already got my design on here. I'm going to be cutting out. This is what you call the vine monogram or font. I'm going to be cutting out a C. And I'm going to go ahead with my Dremel and get my holes cut out so I can get my, um, my blade in. If y'all don't mind, take the time and sprinkle the love on Facebook for me. I would so appreciate that. So this is going to be kind of loud, so you may want to turn your volume down a little bit. So it won't be quite as loud on your end. What kind of wood is that? What kind of wood is that? Carissa, this is a half inch birch. So I'm going to get started. on this a little bit. Hey, Teresa, thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate that so much. And of course, I've got some rusty old little pliers here to do the job with. Let me get that tight. Okay, now we can get back to going. Like I said, everywhere on the inside of my pumpkin that is that needs to be cut out I am going to drill a hole in each section so I can get my my blade through there. Hey, Melissa. Dewalt lover. This Dewalt jigsaw has been my jigsaw that I've used for probably about five years. The first year I kind of struggled with trying to find the right one or you or not find it but use the wrong one because once I found this one, oh my goodness y'all, it was it was on then. <laughs> the cutting was real. So I absolutely love my Dewalt. They're usually a bright yellow but mine, like I said, is five years old. No, no, no. I'm sorry. This one's probably about three years old. This is my second Dewalt that I've that I've had. But um, I actually love a Dewalt. But it's usually this bright yellow. But I've cut on my front porch for years and years, and so this has been in the weather, in the sun. And that's why it looks pretty, pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to get started on cutting the inside, and the first thing I like to do when I'm cutting something that has an inside cut is to go ahead and get the inside cuts done. That way, I can have more control, and since it's still on the whole piece of wood, it's more sturdier, so I don't have to worry about it bouncing around and moving on me quite as much as if I would, like if I was to go ahead and cut the pumpkin out, then come back and get my inside, you know, I, that's, I wouldn't have nothing to kind of hold it down. So I always start with my inside cuts. So I'm just gonna get started and if I miss your comments or questions, then I will come back after I get done and go through them and see if I can answer you. And like I said, this is, this is loud too, so if you wanna cut your volume down, you may wanna do that.
use that jigsaw as good as a scroll saw. So, <laughs> thank you, Miss Kathy. <clears throat> Excuse me. top of our C. Hey, Miss Teresa. Hey, Shirley. Hey. I'm gonna kill my husband. Go inside. Hey. Joey Hodge. <laughs> Ignore the voice behind. Do you hand draw your designs? Jennifer, I do not. I have templates that I go by that I design. And what you do is you, once you get the template, you cut it out and the templates are paper and then you just trace the pattern onto your wood and then you cut it out. All right, there's the top part of our C. That's a lot of work. <laughs> this design, cutting out one of these, it really is, but it's, it's so satisfying after you do it and you know that you actually cut that out. That's what I really like is the end result. So at the end, the hard work was so worth it. without breaking a blade. Miss Kathy, that's why when you get your blades, make sure they are the scroll cut blades and that they are, I love Bosch. I like the Bosch, the 20 TPI, which is the 20, um, the TPI means teeth per inch. And I make sure that I get a T-shake. So the blades have everything to do with making sharp turns. Do you sand along the cuts? when you're finished. Miss Teresa, I do, but actually with this blade and um, with the right type of wood, there's not a lot of sanding that I have to do. I can always tell when I um, get kind of a bad piece of wood because I have more sanding that I have to get done. But um, yeah, I mean, as you can see, it's not, it's not that bad. I'll hold it up closer so you can see, you know how it is before I even sand it when I get done. I was out the 
camera. Great, cuts down the work. Yes, it does. I hate sanding. <laughs> Miss Tracy, could you put the information about the blades on your post? Uh, Miss Kathy, uh, I sure can. I actually do not have any right now. That's why I'm hoping I don't break this one because this is my last one. I would have to try to find an old one. This is real dirty, but it's the Bosch and it's the T shank fits all. And you want to make sure that it says um, for wood scroll on there. Oh, I feel like I got to sneeze. A chew, a chew, a chew, a chew. I feel like I got a sneeze. Just joining, what type of jigsaw do you use? You make it look so much easier than it is for me. Uh, Miss Diana, I use a Dewalt and I use the Bosch scroll cut blades, the 20 TPI with the T shank. And I'm cutting a half inch birch wood. All right, I'm going to go ahead and finish it this side.
please miss connie this is um dewalt jigsaw and it is the bosch blaze the 20 tpi scroll cut all right so i'm going to start on the bottom here <laughs> So this is not something that I just learned in one or two months. I've been cutting with the jigsaw for six years now. So I've had a ton of practice. A lot of trial and errors and a lot of pieces being thrown in the burn pile because I cut a loop off or broke one. And so it's just, it's a lot of practice. But with practice, you can cut your own like initials out and stuff with a jigsaw.
little bit more so y'all can see it. cuts off here but um I don't want to do that with this one so I'm not gonna cut that out and I'm just gonna leave it just like I have it so what did y'all think any confidence in that y'all can do it now that you know that it can be done and you don't have to spend all that money though it would be nice to have a CNC or a laser but for those that that's kind of out of their budget it can be done with a jigsaw and Lots of practice, but it can be done because I don't want to sit here and try to tell you and make it like Super like it's like really nothing to do. Is that still backwards for y'all? No way wait a minute Is that straight it's not like moving on my side Thank you, miss Shirley. So I'm trying to awesome No way no, they, that's why y'all buy them. Let me see. I'm trying to make it to where my initial, is the initial straight for y'all or is it backwards? I don't know. Love it. I'm going to try it. Yes, Tammy. See, that's the kind of attitude that I love to hear is I'm going to try it. Because you will surprise yourself in a lot of things if you just get the courage up and you try it. So, let me see if I missed any questions. Flip it. I've tried to flip it and it won't flip. I don't know why Facebook has got to where it don't want the... It won't flip it. But now if I turn my pumpkin backwards, that should be the way the C looks. But this is the back end of my pumpkin. And it will not let me flip my camera. It's got the little thing there, but it won't let me flip it. Facebook crazy some days but anyway yeah this is the front part but it's it probably is backwards to y'all but it won't let me flip my camera so the piece of wood you make it look so easy well i have had tons and tons and tons of practice yeah i'm sorry y'all it's still backwards i was trying my best to flip it but for some reason facebook or maybe my phone i don't know it won't let me flip it what even let me like rotate to go upside down or anything? Won't let me do anything. But it's not backwards on, you know, for real. For real, real. But yeah, if it was flipped, like I said, I could let y'all see the back of it. And then now the C should be right with y'all. But this is the back. But I'm going to get it close because someone asked about doing any kind of sanding. So you see with the right blades, this is me not sanding at all. And there's, some people may not even sand that. There's hardly any sanding at all when you have the right blades and the right kind of wood. So, and this is the back part of it. As you can see, there's a little bit more sanding that needs to be done with the back, but it's still, it's still not bad. So, 
Thank you, Patricia. You can't change it once the live has started. Linda, you know, I used to be able to because I've done it several times and then all of a sudden now, and I know it's not just me because I see other, you know, ones that's doing lives try to flip it and it won't flip. So I don't know why Facebook has got it to where you can't flip it after you start live because, like I said, I used to. I used to do it. So I don't know. Maybe a new update on the phones. I don't know. Facebook changed it. Miss Sandy, no ma'am, this is not the quarter inch wood. Um, I could probably, I don't, cutting out something like this, I would not really want to do it with the quarter inch wood. This is the half inch wood. It's thicker. With these little turns, cutting with quarter inch wood would be like, like easy, easy to snap off. So I don't like cutting out the initials with the quarter inch wood, especially not the vine font. Now, if it was a regular, like, block font, you know, doing the quarter inch would, would be fine. But not with this vine font that has all of these curls, curls in the turns. You know, I, like I said, you could probably do it, but you would have to be, like, really careful. And, you know, it's, e it's just easy to break with that the quarter inch wood. Thank you, Becky. Saw and blade and wood info. Great job. Thank you, Connie. Uh, Connie, so Connie, the blades I use are the Bosch, the 20 TPI, and it's to scroll with the T-Shank. And then my jigsaw is a DeWalt. Um, I love this blade, I mean, this, um, jigsaw and love, love, love the blade. You can use those blades. It says, it says it fits all. So before I even bought a jigsaw, I would probably buy my blades. And tell them I need a jigsaw that will work with these blades. And if those blades didn't work with that jigsaw, then I wouldn't even get that jigsaw. Because these blades are amazing. Y'all have seen how easy it is to cut with turns and they don't break on you. As long as you're not like pushing that drill, your not your drill, pushing your jigsaw and forcing it through your wood and kind of just easing it, letting the blade cut the wood before you kind of like push it. Um Breaking a blade is kind of hard to do. If the only way you can really break a blade is if it's really wore out. Like sometimes with cutting all of this, your blade can get real hot and that can cause your blade to break easily because if it's a hot blade and then you try to make a little sharp turn, then it, it is easier to pop. But um, if you're not forcing your jigsaw and your blade through your wood, even with these turns and you got a new blade and it's a good blade, you know, you're not, you're more likely not going to break it. Are you going to paint it live? Miss Sharon, I am really thinking about it because I've got this idea in my head that I want to paint the pumpkin, you know, regular pumpkin colors. Y'all, I'm getting, I'm looking kind of shiny. I'm starting to sweat up in here, but, um, I'm in a building that don't have no air conditioner. It has a fan, but it's so loud. I was like, y'all probably wouldn't be able to hear me. But I'm thinking about painting this orange and, you know, giving it kind of a realistic look. And then I think I want to paint my C, the black and white buffalo plaid. So, I am thinking about coming live probably later on this afternoon to paint with y'all. How did you draw it out first? Um, uh, Miss Sharon, nope, who was that? Dana. Um, I have a pattern I actually have an old wooden pattern that I used. This was actually a piece of wood that I bought that was not good wood. So I just wanted to keep it as my pattern, so I just traced it. But um, see, that's how you know you got bad wood. When your wood's peeling off, that means your layers hadn't been glued on there real good. And that can, that can happen when your layers are not glued good. So because with wood, if you look on your edges, you can see there's different layers in that wood. And that wood's only put together by glue. And sometimes you will get a bad piece of wood. And if your wood looks like this and it starts peeling, then that just means that, you know, it wasn't glued good. But yeah, I just traced it on my wood. But how I usually get my design. See, I just came, I did a tutorial this morning for my inside scoop. This is our design that we're going to be doing this month. This is a crate of pumpkins. I'll show you um, the the paper template. Then this is our other design that I showed them how to cut out this morning for the inside scoop. 
this is actually like a pumpkin that goes in a pumpkin and a bat. So what I do to actually get my design on my wood is we have, I've left this out here since this morning and it is starting to curl up. But this is our crate of pumpkins that we're going to be doing for September in my inside scoop. So this is what you actually get when you join my inside scoop is you would get the template for this and all you have to do is print it out and then piece it together and then you cut it because your templates come once you print it out it comes out like you would like a puzzle it comes out in different you know each sheet has a little piece of the design and then you have to piece it together like a puzzle you tape it and then you cut your design out so then you have this to put down on your wood and trace and then you get your template on your wood and all you have to do is cut it out so this is our design for september for the inside scoop so if you want to paint this and learn how to paint this and learn how to cut it, you need to join my inside scoop because today is the last day, y'all. So you don't want to miss it. So that one was this, this one. And like I said, right now you're probably thinking, well, how do I know where to put what? So of course, once you get your template cut out and you got your wooden cut out, then what you would do is you would put some graphite paper or carbon paper up under this and then you would just trace it, all your designs, all of your um, your lines and stuff on the inside and then that graphite paper will leave the, the actual design on your wood to be able to paint it. so and this was our other one this one was this one right this one. so this is a pumpkin a ghost and my little hands are starting to curl up because of the humidity out here and then another pumpkin and a little bat so that's our other design for the inside scoop for September. We have some really cute designs. Then our craft for September is going to be the three-tiered stand. Uh, they are like trending like crazy. It's the, um, the little stands that has like, how would I explain it? I don't know, y'all I'm sure everybody knows what a, like the three-tiered stand where you see them decorating. It's like a piece of wood here, then a piece of wood and a piece of wood. And they're kind of like stacked. But then they put like the decorations and stuff on each tier, on each like piece of wood or whatever. <laughs> I can't explain it. But that's our own craft that we're going to be doing. But ladies, I'm going to hop off of here. I just wanted to come on here and show you that you, know, you don't have to have a CNC or laser machine to do your initials. Because I have been doing them like this with a jigsaw, you know, for six years. So it is something to think about and try and plus to let you know that I am going to be closing the doors on my inside scoop. So if that was something you was on the fence about, um, today's the deadline. So much information, great information. Thank you, Miss Kathy. Jesse, I can't wait. You picked great designs. Ooh, y'all see that fly flop? Fly flew on my head. You picked great designs for us this month. Thank you, Jesse. Tear tray, yes. So that's, we're going to be doing the three tier tray. Thank you, Pat. Mm, I think I've answered most of the questions. How do we find the font for the initials like you have there? Miss Shirley, you can go like Font Brothers. Um, there's, there's all different word swag, I think it is. And there's several different um, online stores that you can, or just go and Google like fine fonts, but I go to Font Brothers or Font Bros. I think it's like B R O S. That's where I get all of my own, like my fonts from. So I think I've answered pretty much all the questions. If I've missed anything, comment it again. Um, I'm so sorry, the piece of wood. So, okay. And I am going to try to come back live to, to paint this with y'all this afternoon. So be sure to keep an eye out on when I do that. It depends on how the kiddos are acting because, of course, it's school tomorrow. I hope y'all have enjoyed your day off. Had a fantastic Labor Day. Hope you've enjoyed this quick little cutting tutorial. Like I said, if you want to learn how to cut... You definitely need to join my inside scoop because like I said, I posted the cutting tutorial on how to cut these two designs today in the group. 
and you can get in on that as soon as you join and get in the group it's right there available for you to watch as soon as you're in so i cannot wait to see who joins i'm excited and if you have any questions about the inside scoop or anything else don't hesitate to message me and i'll be happy to answer you the best that i can all right ladies i will see y'all probably later on this afternoon thanks so much oh pat how much is your group uh i have two options in my inside scoop and one is the regular membership and it's 37 dollars a month and um that's where i provide you with the two templates and the tutorials and the craft you know we all do together and then i also have something new that i've offered and that's the bundle membership and that is for the ones that don't want to cut their own door hangers what i would do is i actually cut them for you and i ship you the blanks to them so all you have to do is paint them watch the tutorials and paint them thank you so much linda for sprinkling the love i appreciate that so so much is it linda or lydia but thank you ladies so much i'm excited i can't wait to see who joins and like i said join me tonight for another live to paint this pretty little pumpkin thanks so much